The passage describes a dreamlike experience where the author encounters five historical figures, including Mahatma Gandhi and Albert Einstein. These figures discuss the importance of promoting peace, compassion, and unity among humanity. The author reflects on the state of the world, highlighting both positive and negative aspects of human nature and society. The author then shares their own journey through various stages of their career, emphasizing the importance of change, teamwork, and learning from failures. They ultimately express their desire to integrate spirituality with education and inspire young people to contribute to the development of India. In summary, the passage emphasizes the need for spiritual growth, unity, and a sense of purpose in individuals and societies to achieve peace, prosperity, and happiness. The text emphasizes the importance of having role models for young students and discusses various questions posed by students during interactions with the author. It highlights the significance of parents, teachers, and national leaders as role models. The author encourages children to dream and aspire to achieve greatness. The text also touches upon the need for India to become a knowledge superpower and mentions the decoding of the human genome. Ultimately, it underscores the role of role models in guiding individuals and the nation towards success and prosperity. The passage discusses the importance of visionary teachers and scientists who have made significant contributions to various fields in India. It highlights the achievements and contributions of several prominent figures, including mathematicians like Aryabhata, Brahmagupta, and Bhaskaracharya, as well as scientists like Srinivasa Ramanujan, Sir C. V. Raman, and others. The passage emphasizes the role of these individuals in inspiring and guiding the younger generation in pursuing excellence in science and technology. It also discusses the establishment of institutions and organizations like ISRO and DRDO and their impact on technological advancements in India. Furthermore, the passage mentions the development of the Brahmas supersonic cruise missile as a successful joint venture between India and Russia, illustrating the potential for international collaboration in advanced technology projects. Overall, the passage underscores the significance of visionary leadership, scientific research, and collaboration in driving India's progress in various fields, including mathematics, space technology, and defense. The text discusses the importance of combining prosperity through wealth generation with cherishing the value system of the people to make a nation strong and prosperous. It highlights the idea that individuals have the ability to create circumstances for success by tapping into universal energy. The author shares personal experiences visiting various spiritual centers and engaging in discussions with spiritual leaders. In one conversation with Pramukh Swami Maharaj, the author discusses India's vision for transformation and the need for a cotter of value-based citizens. Swamiji emphasizes the importance of spirituality and faith in God as a foundation for national development. The text also describes the author's visits to places like the Darga Sharif of K.H. Waja Garab Nawaz, the Sri Sathya Sai Institute of Higher Learning, and the Brahma Kumari Spiritual Academy, where he encounters spiritual teachings and experiences. Overall, the text emphasizes the integration of science and spirituality, the importance of values, and the need for a broad outlook to enrich Indian society and achieve holistic development. This passage emphasizes the importance of unity, national pride, and a shared vision for India's future. It touches on various topics, including spirituality, culture, and the need for a strong political leadership. The author highlights the potential of India's diverse population and envisions a future where prosperity is shared across urban and rural areas. The passage encourages a sense of collective responsibility and the need for cohesive efforts to create a harmonious and successful India. This text discusses the importance of India becoming a knowledge society once again. It highlights the historical significance of India as a center of knowledge and calls for a rediscovery of this heritage. The text emphasizes that knowledge comes in various forms and from different sources, including education, experience, and traditional skills. It also stresses the role of knowledge in prosperity and power. The text mentions that India is uniquely positioned to become a knowledge society, with core competencies in various fields like information technology, biotechnology, and space technology. It emphasizes the need for efficient utilization of existing knowledge to improve health, education, and overall progress. The text also discusses the societal transformation and wealth generation components of a knowledge society. Additionally, the text introduces the concept of providing urban amenities in rural areas as a means to bridge the rural-urban divide and promote rural development. 
It highlights the importance of rural connectivity and infrastructure. The text also touches on the need for India to excel in various sectors, including automobile manufacturing, and mentions the role of visionary leaders in driving progress. It emphasizes the importance of collaborative efforts between various sectors, including industry, academia, and government. In conclusion, the text underscores the significance of knowledge and innovation in India's development and the need to tap into the potential of its youth to become a knowledge superpower. It encourages a spirit of innovation and collaboration to achieve these goals. The passage discusses the need for a mission-oriented approach to development in India. It emphasizes five key areas for integrated action, agriculture and food processing power supply, education and healthcare, information technology, and the strategic sector. The passage highlights the importance of these sectors in achieving food security, economic growth, social development, and national security. The author also mentions specific initiatives and projects aimed at improving agricultural productivity, education, and rural connectivity. They stress the importance of collaboration between government institutions, universities, industry, and the community for success. The passage underscores the role of technology, education, and transparency in India's development. In conclusion, the author calls for a united vision and a transparent India to achieve competitiveness and move up in the global rankings of economic growth and development. The passage advocates for a mission-oriented approach to utilize India's vast resources effectively and foster a knowledge society. The passage discusses a visit to Jharkhand State in India and highlights the region's potential for development. It mentions the need for integrated efforts between the state and the central government to transform the state's prospects, focusing on key sectors like herbs, forest products, and industrial development. The author emphasizes the importance of value addition to resources and minerals to boost the economy. The text also reflects on the need for an integrated approach, similar to mission mode programs, to expedite development. It concludes by encouraging individuals to embrace challenges and risks to achieve success. The passage begins with a quote from Rabbi Indranath Tagore, expressing the desire for a fearless and knowledgeable India. The author emphasizes the power of imagination and its role in creativity, and success. He dreams of a poverty-free and literate India governed by noble leaders and highlights the need for a focused approach to achieve specific missions for the common man's benefit. The author reflects on historical figures like Jamshaji Tata and Acharya P.C. Ray, who contributed to India's industrial and educational development and calls for a revival of that spirit of enterprise. He challenges the nation to aim higher, particularly in sectors like manufacturing, technology, and value addition to resources. The author advocates for integrated action plans, shared visions, and a sense of responsibility to transform India into a developed nation. He acknowledges the progress in certain areas but emphasizes the need for nationwide development and urges students, teachers, administrators, and industries to contribute to this transformation. Finally, he highlights the importance of agriculture and marketing in improving the lives of farmers and expresses a hope for India's prosperity, peace, and harmony.